Hey guys, my name is Why So Furious, and welcome to my first League of Legends guide on pressing the level advantage. In every game, there are brief windows of opportunity where players have a level advantage on the opposing players. In pro play, creating these opportunities and using them to gain more of an advantage is a core fundamental strategy that I call pressing the level advantage. This strategy is the reason why you so often see pro players focusing on killing the minions as quickly as possible on the first two waves. So why is this such a big deal? Well, besides the obvious fact that you have an extra skill point to spend, each level that you gain on your champion comes with over 500 gold worth of stats. That's a lot, especially at early game. So to help demonstrate the effect of the strategy, I will be showing you several clips from one of my recent ranked solo queue games. In this first clip, a very subtle but sometimes game-changing event takes place. Observing the minimap, we see that the enemy Thresh and Draven miss out on the first melee minion's EXP because they stayed too long at their blue to assist Amumu. While this might not seem like such a big deal, it can create huge consequences for them if their opponents know how to take advantage of the situation. As soon as Ezreal gets to lane, he intentionally tries to shove the lane as fast as possible for level 2, while I, on Nami, set up a ward in the bush so that we are more able to avoid harassment and thresh hooks. Because Ezreal and I were in the lane for the first melee minion's EXP, we only need to kill the first three melee minions on the second wave to hit level 2, whereas the enemy Thresh and Draven will have to wait until the first melee minion on the third wave to hit level 2. Just moments after we level up, Draven finds himself in terrible positioning because he decides to try and catch his spinning axe. With the use of my two crowd control spells, we easily catch him and dish out tons of damage, bursting through his barrier and picking up the kill. Also, notice how our caster minions were able to put out around 50 points of damage. This was only possible because the Thresh and Draven did not try to shove the lane. Just as Draven returns to lane, Ezreal and I hit level 3 and attempt to burst down Thresh using our extra skill points. While we are unable to secure the kill, we are able to force Thresh to base so that we can continue to harass and zone out the enemy Draven with few consequences. About one minute later, the enemy Draven catches up to us in level, effectively making Thresh and Draven stronger in lane because Ezreal and I haven't gone back to base to use our gold and restore our health and mana. With this in mind, we play much safer until we hit level 4. One should note that the best league players are constantly making assessments on who has the advantage in the present moment, and then are adjusting how aggressive they are based on those assessments. After briefly backing off to respect Thresh's hook, I see an opportunity to use my slow to ensure that I can land my bubble. Ezreal follows up my ebb and flow with a mystic shot and arcane shifts forward to secure the kill. Yet again, Draven dies because of his lack of awareness towards our increase in power. One thing that I would like to point out in this final clip is the usefulness of learning your abilities with hotkeys. With his allies falling behind, Amumu decides to come down and gank us, but because Thresh plays a little too aggressively, we are able to pick him off and attain level 6. Ezreal and I quickly put a point into our ultimates and fire them off to force both Amumu and Draven to retreat. When Draven stops to finish off some low health minions, Ezreal spots an opportunity to re-engage onto the enemy Draven. After missing his mystic shot, Ezreal backs up just long enough for me to catch up and bubble Draven. Amumu flashes forward for an all-in, but fails because Draven was bursted out of the fight. Because we constantly made aggressive plays when we had the level advantage, Ezreal ended the laning phase with 4 kills, 1 assist, and a 19 minion kill lead over Draven. And that concludes this League of Legends guide. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.